Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome to another Minecraft discussion video here on the channel today. Now guys, last week's video you guys seemed to enjoy quite a bit about when we discussed the, uh, essentially which Minecraft was better, the PlayStation version, the Xbox version, the PC version, the Pocket Edition version on your iPads and phones. But today guys, we're going to discuss something that's within Minecraft and more prominent in the Pocket Edition these days I hear than it has been in PC for quite a while. However, it gets removed from every update so how could it still be in the game, am I right? But you guys should already know we're talking about the title and thumbnail. Hero Brian. That is right, folks. We're discussing Hero Brian in Minecraft. Now, if you guys have been enjoying the Minecraft discussion videos, do click that like button, show support. If you, this video can get 10 likes, I guarantee you another one the following week from now. But let's talk about Hero Brian in Minecraft. And I actually have my own personal stories to tell. I actually have, I think, two that I can remember of to discuss Hero Brian in Minecraft. And does he exist? And will he? ever become a true thing in minecraft because as you guys know ever since the alpha version of minecraft hero brian's been a thing that's been put into the code it's been a rumor it's been a meme it's been a threat it's been a horror film it's been a thing not to do at 3 a.m and now people still to this day record sightings of the elusive hero brian in minecraft now like i said i do have two personal stories but before we start talking about them let's discuss hero brian's actual chance of being in the game so as we know Hero Brian never actually was a true thing. According to the creators of Minecraft, it was just a story they came up with and it was just a piece of code that was in the game that they never turned into anything. It just had the name Hero Brian. And uh, essentially now, uh, at this point in time, people all know Hero Brian is just that thing that's not in the game but is in the game. It's like that, it's like that unspoken rule of Minecraft. Watch out for Hero Brian. You don't know what he might do. And what does Hero Brian do? That's the thing. Nobody's really come to a conclusion on that because the truth is, what people used to say was Hero Brian, if there would be a glitch in the game where like something would break, like if a block would be broken in the world that shouldn't be broken, if there'd be like a, a row or column underground already created that is a normal generation, you'd say, oh, it's Hero Brian. Well, truth of the matter is, it's just coding in Minecraft sometimes can glitch up. However, does it glitch up or can it actually be Hero Brian that's doing it? We shall see. Well, actually, I don't know if we shall see. I can't really show you guys anything other than gameplay of I think I'm doing Minecraft today's gameplay. Not entirely sure. You guys seem to enjoy the Yu-Gi-Oh gameplay. So, you know what? First things first, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think that Hero Brian is real? Yes or no? And also, um, what do you guys like to see as gameplay whenever I'm recording these videos? Do you like Fortnite in the background while I'm talking? Do you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh in the background while I'm talking? Or do you want to see some Minecraft stuff in the background while I'm talking? It's a, You guys let me know so I know what to prioritize. I mean, honestly, it's whenever I feel like recording at that time because it's just like gameplay of something that I just have. And I'm just like, I'll throw it into the discussion video. Why not? But let's talk about my first experience with Hero Brian. It's kind of ironic. It goes back all the way back to Minecraft 1.6.4. I believe that's what version we were on. I was playing on a server called Lost Islands. I know I talk about the server a lot in my videos. Because that used to be the hype server, in my opinion. It had like 300 plus people on it. It was just a van it was just vanilla survival. I mean, it had like an economy plug. It had a few plugins like what you normally see on a server. But like it had a great staff, great community, great everything. I wasn't staff, unfortunately. At the I mean, I was offered the position, I think, once. And I forget what happened or why I couldn't. But anyway, it was a fun server. I mean, at the time, I was in like, I think, ninth or 10th grade. Probably ninth grade, let's say that, to keep it a safe number. But yeah, so like, I was just getting into Minecraft, there was a server we all played, and me and all my friends, we were having fun. One day I was at my one friend's house, and his house was like, he built it under in like a cave or a mountain, but it had like a, uh, a lava, it had like lava columns and everything, it was really cool. So, to set the scene, we're in this big room, about 5 by 10. Well, it's just me in this room. Because my friend asked me to go get some items out of his chest, and that was like the chest room. So I was like, okay, so I go down to the chest. There's columns to the right and left of me that are of lava pouring down inside a case of glass. So I'm like, okay. So as I go down this room, I hear a cave noise. Now you guys know cave noises, what will happen when you're in caves or if there's a cave nearby. Apparently there's a different noise now if you hear, if there's like a mine shaft or something that plays a different noise. But yeah, so like I heard this cave noise. But it was weird because it was like an audio, it, it was the cave noise, but it was like slightly warped. It sounded slightly different. I was like, huh, that's weird. But I didn't think much of it because I was just like, oh, what the heck. So, um, mind you also, um, the one of the plugins on the server, there was protection fields. So if you don't have those, essentially it protects your land so nobody can break it that's on the server. Like no other like players can break it. 
and I think staff at the time couldn't break it as well. I believe only like the server owners could, but like no other ranking of staff could, unless you were allowed into the protection field. And I wasn't even allowed into the protection field. So I'm down there. I heard this weird. I'm like, oh, what the heck? So I go and get my the items out of the chest that I had to go get, and I heard like footsteps behind me, like someone was walking. But it, I was like. It was weird because you don't normally hear footsteps in Minecraft that I remember at least. You might now, I forget. But it, it just heard, I heard like footsteps and I and I asked my friend I was like, "Hey, did you come down here?" And he's like, "Uh, no, I'm not down there." I'm like, "Hmm, weird. I heard something." He's like, "Could there be a mob down there?" I'm like, "I don't hear any zombies or anything." So, I turn around and there's nothing. I'm like, "Okay." And then I heard glass break. And I was like, "Um, did you just break glass?" And he's like, "No, I'm not breaking any glasses. Are you telling me there's someone down there like griefing me?" And I'm like, I don't think so. Isn't this lamp protecting? He's like, yeah, there's no way anyone could get down there unless you teleported them in. I'm like, I didn't teleport anyone in. So I, I leave the area and I look and I see one of the columns of his lava. The glass is broken. Lava's not pouring out because it was like, I guess the lava was still like, it wasn't a source block, so it didn't flow out. So I was like, okay, your glass is broken. Your lava thing. Did you replace, were you, did you like break the glass and forget to put it back in? And he's like, no. And I'm like, and he's like You're freaking me out. What what's going on? Because he was he he was a very paranoid about people griefing his base or whatever. Because it's a multiplayer server, you you kind of tend to be that way when there's a lot of griefers and whatnot. So I was like, no, no one else is here. And he did the command that tells you if there's anyone in your area, even if a staff member's invisible or something. You, it, it's like slash near slash see all or something, and it shows everyone that's in your protection field. And he said it was just me and him. There was not another other player. And I was like. Okay, that's weird. So I go up the steps and I hear the cave noise again. And I'm like, okay, something's going on. We're being trolled or something. And he's like, I don't think we're being trolled. And because we even hit tab and it didn't say any staff members were on. However, um, that doesn't mean anything. Because if they're invisible, they're invisible. So I'm like, yeah, we're definitely being trolled. So I turn around and I kid you not, right in the center of the room is Hero Brian himself standing there. Like, if you don't know what Hero Brian looks like, um, I'm going to have a picture of him in the thumbnail. So you guys can just reference that if you don't know what he looks like. But yeah, that was Hero Brian. So essentially, it's Steve with just white eyes. And I'm like, this is it. Ironically, this is at the time where I actually started hearing about the Hero Brian lore and like the story behind Hero Brian. Not from my friend, but just like online and stuff. I started like. Because I was really getting into Minecraft, I was researching things about Minecraft, just know how to play the game better, and I heard about Herobrine, and, th and this is at the time, like, a few weeks after I heard about Herobrine, and I was like, ah, uh, I think Herobrine's in your house, and he's like, what do you mean Herobrine's in my house? And he's like, that's just a myth, and I'm like, no, no, like, you don't understand, he's right in front of me, like, I'm staring at him, and he's like, is he moving? And I'm like, no, he is standing, direct, like, staring at me, and he's like, does he have a weapon in his hand, is he another player? And I'm like... I don't think he's a player. He had no name tag about the hand. Now, mind you, if you're staff, you can still hide that. But like we said, there's no staff. And I'm like, can you do your command thing again just to make sure there's not anyone else in your house? And he does the command. And he's like, uh, no, it is literally just us. Now, I don't know what he was doing at the time because he did not rush down to see this man. I was the only one standing there. And I took a screenshot of it. I, like, was spamming my screenshot button. To this day, I think that, that was on my old computer, so I don't have the screenshots anymore, unfortunately, or else I'd have that as the thumbnail. Um, I, you know what? I'll try to look whenever I'm making the thumbnails to see if I can find the screenshots, but I might not have them anymore. But yeah, so I was spamming the screenshot button because I was just like, I. he was like, well, aren't you going to try to kill him? He's going to kill you. And I'm like, no, I want him to kill me. I want to see in the chat that I was slain by Herobrine. So he doesn't kill me. He walks to the right sideways into the lava column that he broke. And then starts dying in the lava, like the tick noise, you know, how it makes like a ticking sound of a, a mob burning or like, a, or no, it isn't of a mob burning, it's like of a player burning that t -t 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 -t, like rapid ticking sound. And I was like, um, he's burning himself in lava. And my friend's like, what do you mean he's burning himself in lava? I'm like, no, he just walked into your lava column, you know, the one that was broken and he's burning himself. And he's like, oh, well, he's killing himself. That's okay. He'll die. Then I'm like, he's not dying. And he's like, what do you mean he's not dying? I'm like, he's just sitting in the lava burning. He's not dying. And I'm like... And at that point, it can't be fire resistance. You can't have a person with fire resistance in lava making a ticking burning sound because then you're still burning, so it can't be fire resistance. And he wasn't dying. He had no armor on. He was just sitting there burning in the lava. And I was like, ah, oh, this is where... So then he swims up the lava thing. And at that point, I'm like, okay. Uh, so I I leave to go get my friend to bring him down because he's like, show me where he is. Because he was like looking for him at this point, but he didn't know where I was. So I bring him over there and then he's gone. And I'm like... 
Oh, he's gone now. And he's like, are you sure there's one? I'm like, dude, I have a hundred screenshots. I showed it to my friend later of all the screenshots that I took of this whole event. And he was like, dude, that's insane. And I'm like, yeah. And then after, after the fact, like a few weeks or so, we started asking some of the staff members like, Hey, were you ever at this house doing this pretending to be here around? They all said no. And, and like, they even said like, we would, we would say it in the chat afterwards. Like if it was us, because that's too funny of a thing. And they were like, well, was your land protect? Like, they asked us, they were like, maybe you didn't protect your land. And we were like, no, you don't understand. Like, there was absolutely no way. This was underground, too. It's not like it was a house above ground. So, there's absolutely no way that anyone could have gotten in there. So, like, to this day, I still like to believe that was here, Brian. You guys can let me know in the comments if you believe this story or not. Or if you're just like, I don't know, it's probably a person or whatever. But, um, I, I mean, that's probably my best story of here, Brian. I got another one, um, that actually happened pretty recently. Uh... But yeah, so if you guys also want to leave in the comments down below any of your stories that you've encountered here, Brian, or if you've ever, I'm interested to hear about them. But um, the next story, and this is the newest story and most relevant. This doesn't involve me actually seeing here, Brian, but it's a pretty interesting one. So my, my friend uh, Mad World and I, Mad World, he's taken place in a lot of my Minecraft War series. He's also got his own YouTube channel, Talking Game. Go, go subscribe now motivate him because currently he's not a he's not making videos but he's like well maybe if i got more subscribers i'd be motivated to make videos and i'm like okay fine so if anyone to go sub to this video one sub one sub guarantees another video being made i guess i don't know but anyway my point uh so him and i we were actually preparing for it wasn't this season but last season of minecraft war so season five i believe of minecraft war we were setting up the world generations and basically what we do is when we set up for Minecraft War, we essentially uh, just keep loading up a new world constantly until we find one we like. So, in the efforts of us setting up a new world, now we had no mods installed yet at this point. We just had the vanilla world. And when I loaded it up, uh, my friend was like, hey, did you dig down here in this? There was a cavern like right below us. And we were just kind of messing around it. He was like, hey, did you dig a one by one like staircase down? I'm like, no, what do you mean? And he says, Dude, there's a one by one staircase here, and I'm like, well, that's impossible. We just loaded up this world on the server. There's no, no one could edit anything. He's like, come and look at this. So I teleport over. No joke. There's a one by one staircase down into the like down like the cavern starting and then down lower, and there's torches in it, like regular Minecraft torches. And he's like, is this this was I think in 1.11. It was like 1.11 or 1.12, and he's like, is this a new feature? And I'm like, uh, no, this is not a new feature. I'm calling here Brian shenanigans, and he's like, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's here, Brian, but, because he's never had a here, Brian encounter before, uh, so he was like, yeah, this is interesting, so we go further down into the thing, and then it stops, and we're like, that's interesting, and then we hear the cave noise, that, that same cave noise that I talked about in my other here, Brian encounter, so then we're like, okay, that's interesting, and my friend's like, no, I'm getting out of here, I'm not dealing with this right now, and I'm like, okay, fine, so we go up, and then you, he I heard, either I think I heard a sound of a block breaking, or I heard like, I heard some noise, and I was like, did you just make that noise? And he's like, no, that wasn't me doing anything, so I'm like, I'm going back down the hole. So I go back down the hole, and no joke, it continues all the way down to bedrock, and the final piece of bedrock is broken. So it goes down to bedrock level, and then the piece of bedrock at the end is broken, so it leads into the void. The torches go all the way down, too. And it's like every, I think, five blocks there was a torch. And um, I was like, well, that's weird. And and so my friend goes all the way to the edge of the... I didn't go to the edge. She goes to the edge and like looks down the void. He's like, oh, look at that. And then all of a sudden, well, I was I was already up out of the tunnel. He's like, dude, did you just try pushing me? And I'm like, we're in creative mode, both of us. He's like, did you just try pushing me? And I'm like, uh, no, because at this point, player collision was a thing. And I'm like, no, why? And he's like, something just tried pushing me into the void. And I'm like... Is there anyone, or like, is there a mob near you? Is there a zombie or anything? And he's like, I don't think zombies can spawn in one by one passageways. I'm like, well, you're right, but I don't see anything. So I came back down and I'm like, I don't see anything either. He's like, something literally just tried pushing me into the void. And we were both just kind of like, yep, that's here, Brian. And he's like, all right, cancel this world, delete it, get a new one. And I'm like, why well, don't we want to hear Brian Haunted World? And he's like, no, get a new one. I'm like, okay. So, yeah, um, that was my second encounter with Herobrine. So the first one was in Minecraft 1.6.4 a long time ago on a server. This was in a, I guess you could say a private and whitelisted server of just me and my friend. Uh, in one point, we'll say 
So the call it safe will say 1.12. Point 0.2. And yeah, so here Brian's ever presence, we'll say. Um, the strange thing is, I, like I said, I've heard more sightings of him on the Minecraft Pocket Edition these days than ever, but that version's more or less attuned with the Alpha version than anything. Here Brian's a mystery. No one really knows what it is. I low key think. <laughs> There used to be the joke of what if, like, Notch, the OG creator of Minecraft, what what if he just was able to access all servers somehow and he could just spawn himself in as uh, Herobrine and just do, do stuff or whatnot? It's kind of funny, but, like, it, it's still it's still a pretty interesting thing because it's, so, it's, like, a rare treat that can happen. Like, for you, if you're just playing Minecraft and all of a sudden something like that happens, you're like, whoa, I hear Brian encounter, it's so cool, and then you tell all your friends and they don't believe you. But... It's always interesting. That's one of the things I always liked about Minecraft is like the deep lore in the game of things that can happen or things that can mean other things. It's pretty interesting and like I honestly do hope eventually they do have here Brian a uh, fully integrated into the game since people seem to like it so much. I mean they missed the ball on it back in the day. They could have just thrown him in as like a D not a D DLC. They could have thrown him in as like an update and just been like yeah here Brian's the thing that can rarely spawn now and he can like destroy structures and whatnot. Now, I've always said they need to have a new mob in Minecraft that can, like, either open chests, take things out of someone's, like, chest inventory, or, like, they can, like, break your house, or, like, they're programmed to target player-built structures and they break them. Like, we need to, I know there's modded things that do that, but we need to have a vanilla mob that does that, and Herobrine would be the perfect thing to do that. Like, he can spawn in with one of any tool, and whichever tool he spawns in with, that's the weapon he has to use. So, like, let's say he spawns in with a pickaxe. He can only break things that a pickaxe can break, so he doesn't target wood structures. If he spawns in with an axe, he can only break, like, trees or wooden structures. If he spawns in with a shovel, he can only break, like, dirt, gravel, or sand structures. If he spawns in with a hoe, he can only break gardens. That'd be really cool for them to integrate as some, a griefer. Literally a griefer into the game. I would love to see that, and Minecraft, get on it. But guys, that's going to include today's Minecraft discussion. I hope you guys did enjoy the Herobrine topic today. Next week, I'm going to try to make a note of it right as I finish this recording to... Uh, I wanted to... Dis oh, now I'm forgetting what it was. I said it in my Minecraft Mob Battle series today. I wanted to do a discussion on this, and I'm forgetting what it is. Uh, but I'm going to go check back and see what that is, because it was a really good idea. But guys, um, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, click that like button, share your support, subscribe if you want to see more Minecraft discussions in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.